Troy, uh, we've been following that story uh, about the vault being uh, five centimetres weird. You established there was, you know, claimed it was five centimetres too high a, a little while ago when in actual fact it was five centimetres too low. But, uh, it made it even harder. It did. It made it bloody hard and it upset uh, some of the great the great athletes who are here mm. uh, in that competition, including uh, Svetlana Khachina. Mm. Uh, now, uh, <coughs> Nelly Kim from the International Federation has posted on her website an apology, uh, saying obviously she's disappointed that this happened. Mm. Uh, she doesn't know who to blame, but she suspects Dick Pound may have had a hand in it. Uh, <laughs> she feels as though it's easy to understand why athletes in particular, gymnasts in particular, feel as though the competition's been ruined. Mm. Now, this is one of the disappointing aspects of the web, is that you feel as though you can post these notice on the web and everything is forgiven, everything's of a soul. Well, not in the dream it's not. Not in the dream it's not by a long bloody shot. It's not nearly good enough. It's not nearly good enough to simply put something on the world wide web saying, I'm sorry, I put it behind me, we move on. Oh no, she's got to be called to account. Otherwise people will be getting away with murder and simply putting a sign on the web, sorry I had to murder Dick Pound. Something came over me. I'm sorry to the Olympic movement. I'll put it behind me, we just move on. I mean... As you know, I had to rob the Bronte, uh, the Commonwealth Bank in Bronte recently, and I put a put oh, a note did. up. Yeah, note very up, good so reasons. <laughs> I put a note up and explained. Had to do it. That's right, had to do it, and mercifully, all, every court in the land accepted my mm. accepted my website apology is right. It's not nearly good enough, though, is it, Roy? No, it isn't. I think there has to be public accountability and public grilling. Uh, I think the person involved, or the people involved. Well, I, it might have been more than one. Yes, it might have been. <clears throat> See, this we don't know, but they should be named and they should stand, be forced to stand outside Stadium Australia for a start mm. with a sign saying, idiot. Uh, <laughs> uh, then a I... further sign, ask me about it. <laughs> and so 110,000 people for a start, yeah. and this would be filmed on cable <clears throat> or free to air, live. <laughs> You could have 24 hours of them just being grilled. 110,000 people say, oh, you're an idiot, mate. Yeah. Why? <laughs> Tell us about it. Oh, I got the tape wrong, you know, I thought it was, it was that. Oh, it was you, was it? Yeah. That would make them publicly accountable, oh. I think. They should oh, be yeah. able to stand out there from whenever it happened, say, five days ago. I don't know, these things disappear off the back of the truck of your mind. But let's say it was five days ago. They should be there until the end of the Games. Yes, absolutely right, Roy. And I think that's good because I think it's, it, that's the great thing about the mm. Olympic Games. It's such a democratic movement isn't it? Oh, it is. It's the most it, every, democratic movement in the, the world. world. Yes, that's right. And so getting the people involved yes. in that sort of process, yes, yes. I well, think it's first might, class, Roy. The first class. class. People might decide they want to take, might, might want to take it further. Like boot them up the day. <laughs> like boot them up the day. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Here's one you to know? go on with yeah. you. Yeah, that's and right. Like that. that's and others might agree. Yeah, yeah, let's do this with them. Yeah, that's right. Why don't we do this? Then yeah, you get an right. idea happening. Yeah. You know, ah. next thing you know, they're dragged into the stadium with 110,000 people. Beaten to death with cardboard sticks. <laughs> oh no, they'd get it right next time. <laughs> they certainly would. And you, you only have to make an example of one or two. <laughs> one or two.